Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Metaphysical Moment here on The Skeptic Metaphysicians, where we dive into the most intriguing, mind-bending, and metaphysical topics out there. I'm your host, Will, and today we're talking about something that's totally next level. Light codes. Sounds mysterious, right? Well, buckle up, because we're about to embark on a journey that could change the way you see the world, literally. <music> All right, let's start with the basics. What the heck are light codes? If you're imagining some futuristic matrix-like sequence of glowing numbers, you're not really that far off. But instead of being stuck in a computer simulation, light codes are said to be high-frequency packets of energy carrying information that can activate your spiritual awakening, enhance healing, or even raise your consciousness. Think of them as cosmic downloads, like software updates for your soul. These codes are believed to be transmitted through light, sound, or sacred geometry, and can come from higher dimensional beings, your higher self, or even the universe itself. Sounds pretty wild, right? Now, I know what you're thinking. Where are these codes possibly coming from, Will? Are they beamed down from aliens? Maybe. Some people believe light codes are coming from higher dimensional beings, star systems like the Pleiadians or Sirius, or even from the universe's source energy itself. Others say they're embedded in nature, in the stars, or in ancient symbols. If you've ever seen sacred geometry patterns like the Flower of Life, you've seen a physical representation of these codes. Or maybe you've seen crop circles and thought, there is no way that's just some dude with a lawnmower. Because really, some of these formations seem to be transmitting some sort of information. Could they be messages meant to activate or awaken us? All right, so how do these mystical light codes actually work? How do they reach us? And more importantly, what do they do once they get here? Well, light codes are believed to be absorbed by your energy field, sometimes called your light body or your aura. They resonate at a high frequency, so when they hit your field, they can activate dormant DNA, open up psychic abilities, and awaken you to your soul's purpose. It's kind of like receiving a download of spiritual wisdom without having to sit in front of a textbook. Yeah! Some people even say that light codes can help release old patterns, trauma, or blockages that are holding you back. It's like spiritual housekeeping cleaning out all the junk you didn't even know you were hoarding. <laughs> now you're probably wondering, hey, how do I get in on this? How can I experience light codes? But that, sir, madam, is a great question. See, some people say you can receive light codes during meditation, through nature, or by simply being open and attuned to the universe. Others suggest listening to light language. Ever heard of that? It's a spoken or sung language that some believe carries these light codes. It sounds kind of like gibberish or alien language, but many people report feeling intense energy shifts when they listen to it. And hey, it's becoming quite the trend in spiritual circles. You can even find entire playlists on YouTube or Spotify dedicated entirely to light language activations. Go check them out. I'll wait. You might just feel something stir inside you. And if you do, I want to hear. Now, full transparency, this is one of those topics that really makes you question everything you know about reality, right? And as always, it's okay to have a healthy dose of skepticism here. After all, this is the skeptic metaphysicians. Some people think light codes are just a placebo effect. Just your mind responding to a belief system. Others swear they've had life-changing experiences after being exposed to light codes or light language. Personally, I think this is one of those try it and see kinds of things. Whether you believe light codes are coming from ancient alien civilizations or just tuning into a higher aspect of your own consciousness, the effects are undeniable for many who've experienced them. And that, my friends, is what makes this topic so exciting. So what do you think? Have you ever had an experience with light codes? Or is this just one more woo-woo concept for the skeptics to pick apart? Either way, I'd love to hear from you. Reach out, share your stories, or ask your burning questions. And with that, we wrap up another episode of the Metaphysical Moment here on the Skeptic Metaphysicians. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a review, and as always, keep questioning everything, especially yourself. Until next time, peace and light, my friends. Thank you.